Hey everyone, uh, a little over a week ago I did a video about a couple different clock options including a free tool that I've actually made available to the public. I've made a lot of changes to that thing since I first released it and introduced it here on the channel. So I wanted to give you guys an update of some of the stuff that I've added and then I want to show you another tool that I've made and also available for free that can help with uh, running an event. So let's take a look first at the updates to my clock. All right, in order to get to this, we want to go to djp.li slash djp clock. You might want to book this, bookmark this site. Right, so I'm going to go ahead and redirect. That's so going to take us directly to the page. And, and there it is, a nice, big, very accurate clock that uh, is there for anybody to use. Um, it defaults to your current time zone, defaults to this size, defaults to red, and defaults to no label. But all that stuff is configurable. Previously, we had to go up to the URL bar and enter some stuff manually, but I've made it much easier. So all you have to do now is click or tap somewhere on the page, and that will reveal a menu up here up top. So a list of time zones that we can choose from. We can select between 12 and 24 hour format. We can set the size of the text. We can set an offset. Say, for example, if you're live streaming and you want your stream to go live at a specific time, you know that it takes 30 seconds of buffering. You enter a 30 in here. And that will advance the clock by 30 seconds, or you can do a negative number to, to rever reverse it. Uh, and then we can set the color of the text, and we can also set a label. So, for, for say, for example, I'm going to say this is the time at DJP, and go ahead and click on that. And now we've got a label underneath it letting you know that this is DJP time. Uh, this is designed so that you can run multiple of them and be able to distinguish one from another. And that's why we have the labels, and that's why we have the ability to customize the font color. So if I wanted to make that yellow, for example, just click click on the yellow there, and then click on View, and now we've got yellow text. And customize, we'll say Mountain Time, because that's where I'm at. We'll set that as the label, and bingo, there's the label on that. Uh, there's one little quick thing I've added in order to automatically display the, the full time zone name. If you just enter the letters TZ for the label, it will automatically figure out the full name of the time zone that you've selected and display it beneath your clock there. So, so yeah, there it is. It's totally free. Anybody who wants to use this certainly can. I've been testing the accuracy of this thing, and it's been consistently accurate to less than 15 milliseconds when I've when I've checked it against some reference time sources. So, very close, very accurate. 15 15 milliseconds is less than one frame at 60 frames per second. So, pretty darn accurate and. Uh, a few other things that I've added here I should mention as well. Uh, it, it will now check to see if the display time has gotten off. Uh, for example, if you, put, if you put, were to put this on an iPad and you put the iPad to sleep, when it wakes, wakes back up, previously it was showing an inaccurate time. I've since fixed that, so if it notices that the current time is wrong, it will resync and reset. And the other thing I've added since last time is automatic resync to my time server every 30 minutes. So. Even if, even if your computer time, your computer clock is not quite super accurate, it will now resync to my server every 30 minutes. Okay? All right. So that is free. It's available. djp.li slash djpclock. Anybody can use it. You don't have to be a customer of mine or anything like that. You don't have to be subscribed to the channel. Just go ahead. Feel free to use it. It's there for anybody to use. The other one that I want to mention, it's another free feature I have on my crew access uh, site which is a website that's designed for people to help run their video production business. And this is this feature that I'm going to demo is available in the free tier of the site. So you don't have to pay me any money in order to get access to this. Although those who are on the free tiers will get a little of additional functionality that I will demonstrate briefly along the way. All right, so this feature is basically uh, a full screen view of your run sheet. So a run sheet is basically a list of things that are happening as part of an event. So all the different cues that happen uh, when you have a, a tight schedule, you know, this event needs to happen at exactly 2 o'clock p.m. or whatever. We put those things on a run sheet. So let me just very quickly show you what a run sheet, editing a run sheet looks like here on the site. So I go into this demo uh, event that I have, and I'll click on run sheet, and then I'll click on the edit button here. So that allow me to view the run sheet for this event and you can see that I've got a series of cues in here so cue at 1 50 p.m. for 10 minutes 
to start a countdown, and the action for the crew is to start recording. Whoops. Uh, audio action, I don't have one filled in there. Video action for the crew, video crew, the action is to uh, start counting on playback. And then uh, I could specify who this particular queue applies to. And queues can either be done by time of day, as you see here, or just by generic text. So if I wanted to enter the name of somebody who's starting or whatever, I can use that as the queue. Um, so anyway, so typically the way I use this, I set both a start time and a duration in minutes and that becomes very useful in a minute so now I mentioned that this feature is free uh, as is the access to the website uh, but there are a couple features that are only available for paying customers and that is the ability to customize which date what data fields are shown on here so in my case I have manually added this audio action and video action columns you won't see those when you go to sign up for the site even if you're on a paid account, you if you wanted to see, if you wanted to add your own columns to this, you can do that. And for those who would like to know, that's under admin, and you go to view, edit extended attributes, scroll down to run sheets, click on the little edit button here, and then you can add your data, your fields, uh, give it a description, specify data type, and so forth. So that is the ability to customize which fields are on that page is available to the higher professional and enterprise tiers of crew access. For everybody else, you'll still get the other ones. You'll still get the time duration, description, crew action, and the crew members columns here, but the other ones that you're seeing here are ones that I added uh, as because I have access to those higher tiers. So anyway, so I've actually gone through and I've added a bunch of cues for this virtual event that I have going on. And what I want to do with this is I want to take this and display it full screen on a big monitor on location so that everybody can see what's going on and what's coming up. And if we click, click on this little countdown and the stopwatch icon that's here, we're going to get a full screen view that's going to show us what's going on. And here it's showing me that what we're supposed to be doing right now is presenter named Eve. She started at 1425. She got a 10 minute presentation and of that 10 minutes there are 4 minutes and 43 seconds remaining. Down below that, we see that the next event starts at 1435. It's a five-minute event, and description for that is five-minute break. And then we see a countdown until that event starts. And then once that event starts, that countdown will switch to how much time is left for that particular entry on the page. So there's a couple other things that are going to happen here. And I'm going to pause this video so that there's enough time that elapses uh, for those to actually happen. So uh, bear with me for just one moment. Now, in a couple of minutes, we're going to see a couple of things that are going to start to happen here. So the, there is some color coding that's going on here. Yellow is the currently active event. Uh, an event is going to go green when it's less than two minutes away. And it will go orange when it's 30 seconds away. And then it will go red when it's less than 10 seconds away. And we'll see all that happen here in a minute. But before that happens, I wanted to d describe a couple other things that are going on here. So um, I'm going to have to hide me very briefly in order for you to see this. But you can see in the upper right hand corner there is a current the, the current time clock I'm gonna go ahead and go full screen with this so you can see what it really looks like there we go so you can see the current time in the upper right and that again is one of those synchronized times and that is shown in the time zone of the event itself so it doesn't matter what time zone your computer or tablet is in this time is in the time zone for the event that you're currently viewing Another, also notice here in the upper left, a new button has appeared. It's called Auto Scroll. You're free. You can freely scroll up and down the list so you can see what's coming up. But if you want the site to automatically scroll, you can click on the Auto Scroll button, and then it will always highlight the current event, the current entry in the center of the screen. So in this case, we this is the event that is currently transpiring, and uh, we'll have just a little over two minutes left to go on this. So. Yeah, but you're, at any point you can just grab the scroll wheel or the scroll bar on the side of the window there and scroll up and down. And the site will allow you to do that. And if you decide you want to go back to auto scroll mode, you can just click on that auto scroll button that appears there in the upper left. So we've got about uh, eight seconds here before the next thing is going to happen. Or again, we're going to see some color changing here on the page to indicate that something's going on. So there we go, two minutes until the next event, that next event shows now shows up in green, and it will stay that way until we get to 30 seconds out, and then it will change to orange, and then at 10 seconds out, it will change to red. 
All right, we're almost at 30 seconds, so we're going to start to see some things happening here. So here we go. Now at 30 seconds, you see that the text there at the bottom changes to orange. And then once we get to 10 seconds, we'll see that text change to red. And then once the current event expires and the next one is set to go, then we'll see the, the, the page actually scroll that new new event into, into position. So here we go. We're about 10 seconds to go. All right, right now, there we go. And so we switch to red. And uh, now six seconds from now, we're going to see this event scroll into view and turn yellow. So two, one, and there we go. And so now the current event is highlighted there, and we're counting down the amount of time left in this entry rather than how much time until that entry actually takes place. Uh, so anyway, but any, you can leave this up on a computer on location and give it as, use it as a reference for anybody to see what's going on. And uh, again, this feature is free. It's available as part of my crewaccess.com website that I've created. For those not familiar with it, it's a site I created basically to help me run my own video production company. And I've just since made it available to others as well. So there's a free tier, which is actually very functional. And anybody can use that for as long as you want. And then I've got some paid tiers as well, which add additional functionality and remove some of the limitations uh, in terms of number of users and number of uh, contacts and resource entries and things like that um, when you get into those paid tiers. So anyway, but you can certainly try that out for as long as you want. You can just go to crewaccess.com or use the link that's appearing there on your screen uh, to get there and try that out. So anyway, there you go. So a few free tools for helping us to run our video production business and make sure that we have accurate time, accurate clock uh, available for anybody. You know, broadcast uh, video is it's down to fractions of a second, so you got to make sure you have an accurate clock. Uh, and, and it's just a, these are great tools that are totally available for free to help you do that. Anyway, there they are. A couple of free tools for you. Enjoy using them. Uh, I'm going to make those available for as long as I possibly can, so uh, feel free to use them as long as you want. If you have any questions about these, you can leave those in the comment section down below or join us over on Discord. I have a Discord server, and uh, you can ask questions there, and there's a whole community there to answer those uh, in addition to just me. So anyway, thanks everyone for watching and talk to you later.